Hello, it's Kaja here. In this video, I'm going to do a tutorial on projecting revenue for a social media platform business model using a social media financial model template. So if you already have the model, this is the right place to be. This is the tutorial. If you don't, I'm going to link that page in the description. The model is completely free for anybody on our Founders Edition plan, but it's also available for purchase if you need that. Also, make sure that you've watched our previous video that goes over the basics of this financial model of our general financial model spreadsheet. In this video, I'll be mostly focusing on revenue and on the projection sheet. But if you want to get a deeper understanding of the rest of the model, make sure that you watch that video as well. I'll link it in the description. So let's get to it. The social media platform uh, model is actually one of our simplest models because it most social media platforms just make money from advertising. So what we need to estimate in a model like this one is how many sessions and how many ads can we serve a customer based on that number of sessions. So let's get into projections. Now, the challenge here, or probably the, the riskiest part of, of building a model for social media is just getting a realistic understanding of your monthly active users. So most models that, that we built focus a lot on marketing and, and the conversion rate from marketing to paid, right? Uh, why? Because you can actively spend money to drive customers to your platform. And it's, you know, you, you can get away with paying $50 or $60 to acquire a customer because the revenue that you make from those customers will make up for that. But in a social media platform, it's not usually the case. Why? Because the, the value of a customer to you on a monthly basis is actually pretty small. Um, you know, the Facebook uh, revenue per customer in the US, I think it was like $14 or something like that. So you can't really pay a lot of money to acquire those customers. This growth needs to be mostly organic for a social media platform to thrive. So what this model takes in is an estimation of your monthly active users and how they'll be growing over time, and then just brings that to uh, to estimate an, an amount of sessions. So let's uh, let me show you how that works. Uh, we have a launch date for the platform, which you can adjust, of course, and then we have monthly active users at launch. So what's a monthly active user? We are going to define that for the model in a second. You know, it, it really depends on how you track it. So for example, if you're tracking uh, monthly active users as somebody who does one session in the month, that's a pretty lame monthly active user, but you're going to have to sort of reflect that in the metrics below to come up with accurate estimates. On the other hand, if you're considering a monthly active user, somebody who uses your platform daily, then that's what the model will allow you to estimate a daily usage to estimate how much ad revenue you can generate from them. So what we have here is a number of monthly active users at launch. Maybe let's set that to 5,000. And then let's assume that you're going to have some fast growth. You're going to be able to grow that by 20% month over month. So if you go to revenue, what you'll see here is the monthly active users at launch, which was February, and how that grows by 20% month over month. Now, the problem with 20% or percentage growth is that very quickly it could become exponential. I mean, it is exponential, but very quickly it could become astronomical. And that astronomical growth could get you, I don't know, to billions of users at a certain point, which is obviously not what you want. So one, uh, I mean, yes, what you want, but not what's realistic. So one functionality that we added here is that you can cap the maximum number of monthly active customers that you'll have in a given year. So for example, what we're doing here is we're saying in 2021, we don't expect that we'll get to more than 100,000 active users. Why? Because we've seen the metrics for other companies on how they grew, how they grew. You, know, you look at Facebook, for example, how many years did it take them to get to a certain amount of monthly active users and you know, Facebook being the best case scenario, if you will. So, you know, you should assume that's the best thing that can happen and probably project more conservative than that as to how many years it could take to get to X number of monthly active users. You know, Instagram is probably one other example that's uh, skyrocketing growth. So by doing that, what the model, what the model is going to do is it's going to check if we're in 2021, what's you know, are we getting to that maximum amount of customers this year? It seems that we aren't, um, but in 2024, we are, right? Because we had in, in December 2023, 2.4 million, 20%, 20%, 20%, and that got us to 5 million. So it's going to pick the cap for 2024, which is uh, 5 million, which is what we defined here, 2024. Um, and then we are going to cap that at 5 million. Then Next year, that's going to grow from 5 million to 8 million, which is a new cap, and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's going to let you, or I mean, that's going to allow your model to just not go into some crazy numbers so quickly. And that's probably the most important part of the model. The rest of the math is actually pretty simple. So make sure that you run those estimates with, um, you know, with, with, a, with an accurate approach. 
Okay. So now let's look into ad revenue. So this model assumes that you're gonna be generating revenue via ads uh, that you're serving to your customers in your social media platform. So we have first number of sessions. So the number of sessions you can control here. So once again, this is the question of what would you consider a monthly active user? The way this model is set up now is a monthly active user is a user who on average comes to the platform once per day. You can set this to 60 sessions per month, meaning two sessions per day, or you know decimals anywhere in between. Ideally, these numbers should come from your own metrics and you should start seeing some of this data as you launch beta versions of your app. And you can use these numbers, which will be fairly accurate as your own estimations. So how many sessions per month? 60, that means two sessions per day. And then what's the average session time in minutes? Uh, you know, three minutes would be fair. If you're, I don't know, if you're TikTok, that's probably gonna be a lot more, but uh, I don't know, it's it. Maybe it's a 15 minute session per, per, 15 minutes per session. So what that's gonna give us is the average active minutes per user per month, which is reflected here. So you have minutes in the platform, assuming that we have 900 minutes per user per month. And we of course multiply that by the number of active users. That gives us the total minutes on the platform. Minutes per user here, just to track and check. Okay, and then next up is how many ads can you serve? How many ads can you show these customers every minute? Uh, three ads per minute is the default here. Let's set this to one. So let's assume that you're gonna do one ad every minute. Uh, that's well, maybe 1.5 maybe. Uh, that's gonna give us here the number of estimated ad impressions. And then the number of estimated ad impressions per user, which is actually pretty strong, like one, you know, 1,300 ads per user. That's a lot, but not unrealistic, I guess, in the best days of Facebook where you had ads all over the place, right? Because you have the right sidebar ads and so on. Uh, I don't know how many ads I'm consuming on Instagram. I don't think it's 1,300, but maybe. Just make sure the number is realistic. Uh, and then finally, we're gonna use a CPM model to estimate revenue. So CPM is cost per thousand impressions. So cost per thousand impressions, let's assume that's $2 per thousand impressions. Um, that's gonna give us your re our revenue here. Now, for most startups, you're gonna have to use a third-party ad server, right? Like a Google AdSense. So you're, you're not gonna be able to generate that ad demand. On your side, you won't have a self-service ad platform for people to upload their ads. So most of the time, you're gonna be using one of these platforms. So AdSense, for example, I believe, pays 68% to the app or to the website. Uh, while keeping 30-ish percent of profit. So you can use this to estimate that. If you run your own platform, you can assume that your rev share is 100%. You're keeping all the ad revenue. So that number comes here. But you know, if you're using a platform, that's just gonna be discounted. So the only revenue that you're gonna get is the, uh, you know, is that 68% of ad revenue. This is the estimated CPM after rev share. Notice that we're taking into account the $2 as a basis and then taking away uh, the, the percentage that Google or whoever runs your ads keeps. And that's pretty much it. Like these numbers get astronomical fairly fast. So you know, with 21 million active users, 60 sessions per month, we're at 1.2 billion sessions, which is a lot, but I don't think it's unrealistic. And that you know, translates into this ad revenue. Now, uh, this is the only stuff that the projection sheet will, will do. And that's why, again, this is one of the cheapest and the simplest models that we have, because it's, it's really simple. It's just a, like a thought exercise of uh, projections. Of course, you know, this needs to add some work on your side to estimate you know, what your team needs to look like in terms of developers and marketing. Yes, there needs to be some marketing, even though you know, most social media platforms grow organically, virally, if you will. Um, you know, you still need to come in here into marketing and assume that you're gonna be doing some advertising. Maybe it's PR, maybe it's display advertising, maybe it's billboards, but those, the, the important part is that, you know, you can come here and pick a random month. So let's go to revenue and pick this month. So, you know, we're adding say 37, you know, we have 37,000 active users uh, this month. So we're adding 7,000 new active users from one month to the other. How are we gonna do that? Uh, you know, if you go to SGNA, your marketing budget, your marketing efforts should reflect enough team, enough staff, enough budget to effectively add 7,000 new monthly active users that month. And that could, you know, that of course needs to account for the fact that out of all the people that download your app, not everybody's gonna become active. So 7,000 active users, you know, maybe it's 30% of your downloads that become active. So you, you need to generate 21,000 downloads 
Um, and again, your metrics in terms of staffing, marketing need to reflect realistically that you'll be able to acquire 20,000 downloads in a single month. You know, that but you might be very lucky with that because, you know, uh, the app store is promoting your platform or because there's some reality going on, you know, look at TikTok. But, you know, what, what we what the model really cares about is the number of monthly active users that you expect to have. And what investors really care about is that the model realistically achieves those numbers. So that's it. That's the social media platform model. Uh, a few notes. If you have any questions, you can use the welcome page on the model to book a call with our team. Um, you can, you know, calls are $79 for a 30-minute call, and our team can jump into your model, uh, ideally if it's in Google Sheets, and we can customize it or answer questions that you might have. Um, so you can use that link to book a call. Good luck with your modeling. Make sure to tune in next week. <laughs>